A third-class lever is kind of like the opposite of a second-class lever. In this case, the fulcrum is at one end of the beam, the load being lifted is at the opposite end, and the effort is applied in the middle. Because the load is always farther from the fulcrum than the effort, the force needed to move the load is always increased. The trade-off is that the distance traveled by the load is much greater than the distance traveled by the effort, and this is useful for some situations where we want to increase the distance more than we want to reduce the force. Lots of sporting equipment is designed as third-class levers for this reason, since a fisherman wants to move his hands a small amount and have his lure travel far, or a softball player wants to swing her arms close to her body but have the end of her bat travel much further. These are just a couple of examples of third-class levers. Some others would include hockey and lacrosse sticks, brooms, tweezers, barbecue tongs, or shovels. You can even find third-class levers in your own body. An easy way to remember the three classes of levers is to remember the acronym FLEA. This tells you what is in the center of each class of lever. In the first class lever, the fulcrum is in the center. In a second class lever, the load is in the center, and in a third class lever, the effort is in the center. Each type of lever is useful for its own purpose.